Welcome back to Stellaris. We are doing rather well. We have set up choke points to the other uh, races at strategic locations. Here, here. This one is not ideal, but uh, it's the best we can get at the moment without going into uh, Hilil Hililia. Hililia. We might go in there. We can easily take out that fleet, so... But we also have Tharam. Um, on Yumik Prime, we have the capacity to build another building. Now, let's see here. We have plenty of amenities available currently. We'll go with hydroponics farms here to get more food. On Kraken's cradle, we have blockers that we can clear. There is no reason why we shouldn't clear them. And we have finished our fleet as well, so let's send these guys to Bijali so we can take out the uh, alien vessels there. Construction ship in Nekar is done, so let's build a research station there. Special project complete. Space amoebas forever. The space amoeba is usually accompanied by a handful of semi-independent flagella used for defense and object manipulation. The amoeba and its flagella do not share a mind. The former instead using RNA-laced secretions to program the latter for the execution of tasks of middling complexity. We can either get plus five evasion, or we can gain regenerative hull tissue. Regenerative hull tissue is rather nice, but evasion plus five is very nice too. I think we'll go with the evasion. What are you doing? You're building mining stations. <laughs> 42 years and three days. A closer scan of the debris field around Taraza 2A has led to the discovery of an airlight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertain a frequency uncertainty so low that it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second, and it is counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. The capsule holds no clues as to what this date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of the time. Let's just keep an eye on it. Tick tock, tick tock. We have an unspent civic point. Let's reform the government. That'll cost us 250 influence, so we can't do that yet. We also have gained the Galactic Administration. Yeah, that's why we got the uh, unspent civic points, but because it gives us plus one civic slots. The administrative needs of a star empire are as numerous as they are complex. We will rise to the occasion. New research. Let's get... Ah, uh, that's a difficult one. This is very difficult. Let's get autonomous agents to get plus one monthly influence. Star system charted. Zao. Construction complete. Leah has been surveyed. Continue. Construction complete. 
you can go back there. You can build these mining stations. Now let's attack the space amoeba. Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, okay. Mining drone work ethic. The drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of, subject of study. In fact, mining networks on Kraken's Cradle could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings through though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Let's uh, go with Fascinating Automata, which gives us plus 10% mining station minerals output. Then we have the alien box. At long last, our scientists have penetrated the outer material of the alien box. The box holds three small liquid-filled vials, one red, one blue, and one green. The liquids are less alien than their container, and our scientists have identified them as primed gene modification mediums. For reasons beyond our understanding, the solutions are quickly deteriorating outside their alien container, but there should be enough time to synthesize and apply one of them to our species. It has been confirmed that its effects would be positive, but exactly how remains to be seen. Let's see here. The red serum will give us the trait social pheromones. That will give the effect minus five percent pop housing usage. The blue serum will give the trait limited regeneration, which gives us plus 10% armor damage and plus 10 leader lifespan in years. And the green serum will give us the trait bioadaptability, which gives the effect plus 5 habitability. Mm. Let's go with the blue solution. regeneration. The blue gene modification solution has been successfully administered to the tentacles once people. Based on preliminary observation of early subjects, the solution appears to increase our potential lifespan. I would like to have a nice little screenshot of that. Abandoned gateway again. We have encountered another abandoned gateway, this time in the clue system. Unlike the previous one, this gateway has not been altered in an obvious way and our scans indicate that it is still connected to the rest of the network. However, it is currently inoperable due to its poor condition. Star system charted. And that's that out of the way. Let's send these back here. Star system charted. We've discovered a new archaeological site in Tara Z. Where did we discover that Elgate? Ah, there. So it's within our empire, that's good. We lost one Corvette. I'm fine with. We can get a new tradition as well. Let's get the dietary enrichment. The nutritional value of the nourishments we harvest for our populations can be increased through various enrichment techniques, enabling us to feed more mouths with less food. Monthly food output increased by 10%. I 
don't think you're doing anything, so let's grab that system. Construction complete. We are receiving a transmission from the Ganvius Mercantile Union. They appear to have successfully translated our language and diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. <coughs> I bring greetings from Chairman Bud Hawthorne, the undisputed ruler of the Ganvius Mercantile Union. Respect our borders and uh, keep out of our affairs and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. We sense prey. They're all the way over here. That's quite big for a mega corporation. Retreat. Yeah. Is that a mega corporation? Does it appear to be? Construction complete. them there and also build a new corvette construction complete archaeological site event pending more details have been assembled from the scattered records we have recovered as an ever-increasing percentage of planetary resources were poured into anti-ufo measures without any noticeable success their economy and society began to collapse brownouts and food shortages were endemic most fields of technology stagnated and a deep sense of hopelessness prevailed at every level of society. Scattered references have been found to some kind of ultimate shield, which became increasingly common as reports about the general situation on Eshmaik 3 gets worse. Let's just continue. Anomaly found. Very Construction easy. complete. Construction complete. We've discovered a new archaeological site. All the way out there. Tune fix is now level five. Anomaly found. Let's research the anomaly. Light show. Science officer Peps reports that the luminous waves coursing through the ice that blankets Clue 5 is of alien origin. Some ancient battle has deposited scattered wreckage of an alien fighter on the frozen planet, and only the exposed core of its main weapons remains intact. It seems this alien race used lasers somewhat more advanced than the ones currently in use by the tentacle fleets, and the fizzling innards periodically discharged low-powered lasers into the ice of Clue 5. The planet's harsh climate prevents the lasers from actually melting the ice, allowing the chilly matrix to act as a brilliant prism. Technology gained blue lasers. Technology secured. That's nice. Do you have all of your uh, modules? No, you don't. What happened there? Hmm. Construction. 
Construction complete. Excellent. Let's grab Brocken. The probability conundrum. We have gotten a report from Science Officer Groundbuster. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star Ashaiki. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into a close orbit. A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up here. We can either investigate it or get 40 influence, but we will, of course, investigate it. Technology secured. We have completed our super solid materials, which gives us plus 20% engineering output. Here at 82. The production and understanding of super solids are of immeasurable value to any and every space age civilization. We can get railguns now. I think we need that. Star system charted. I've surveyed clue, so let's go to the final system in this place. Construction complete. Okay, so we got six more. That's not too bad. Communications established with the Zura Corp. Pray. Uh, so these are the uh, trading factions. I'm not going to um, bother reading this. We won't be able to complete. do anything with them anyways. So... Star system charted. Let's research that project. I think we want that planet, so let's go build a star base there. Construction complete. Let's send this fleet up to Conviab. We can build buildings on these planets. This planet probably wants to have a hydroponics farms and Bokrimar Prime probably also wants to have a set of hydroponics farms. Base in orbit of Brokkan. Yeah. Let's build mining stations there. Technology secured. Very good. We have researched autonomous agents plus one monthly influence. Semi independent units have proved critical to the success of the greater whole. This is a nice path. Um, I think we'll take Doctrine Space Combat for more fleet combat limits, though. Star system charted. Mirok has been charted. Archaeological site event pending. The discovery of a partially preserved data bank in a hardened military bunker has revealed the sad fate of Eshmaik III. Faced with a general economic collapse which would have led to the end of their anti-UFO anti measures, the rulers of Eshmaik III activated their ultimate shield. However, 
This was not a shield to protect Eshmaik III, rather it was the complete nuclear annihilation of the population and infrastructure to ensure neither could be taken by alien invaders. This decision was apparently spurred on by the discovery of an alien signal coming from unknown object in system. Six minor artifacts and 500 um, society research and we also add an anomaly. So how about... Why can't we see the anomaly? Technology secured. Maybe the month needs to cross over or something, I don't know. However, we have completed applied quantum physics. 20% more physics research from researchers. The seemingly erratic behavior of tiny things can dramatically alter the way we think about bigger things. Let's get the Zero-G Laboratories for plus 10% research station output. Um, a bit confused about this uh, anomaly that they said were added to the system. Let's send Quadrotas to this one. Construction complete. Excellent. Move on there. Okay, so this one is going to be an important talk point. Star system charted. Our goal has been charted. Send you down there then. Construction complete. Or rather, let's send you there. Matrix has leveled up. Construction complete. Good, good. I don't know when I get the star hole technology, but it's in engineering, so... Wonder, did I install... I did install that. There's not really anything that I want to add to the design as of yet. Star system charted. Beta Aquilae has been surveyed. Moving on. Empire Cohesion is still quite well. New contact. We have received a communique from a previously unknown system. Basefaring empire that call themselves the Iribot Link. Driven assimilators. Huh. Well, I'm not sure we can uh, eat these. They're very polite, though. We wish to incorporate your kind into our greater consciousness. For this purpose, we have created advanced cybernetic implants that are compatible with most organic life forms. Let us surgically graft them to your bodies. Please. We sense prey. They are down there.
technology secured. We've completed zero G laboratories plus ten percent research station output. Very good. A lot of critical research can only be done in a zero gravity environment, which these specialized laboratories are eminently designed for. Hmm. Let's continue doing research station output, I think. Construction complete. Can build a new building on Kraken's Cradle. I think we will go with another research lab. Probably want to build another uh, hive district as well. This one is done, so let's send him down there. Build a research station first. Technology secured. We've also completed Doctrine Space Combat Research, plus 20 fleet command limit. That doesn't help that, but it means that the uh, fleet itself can become larger. A gradual adaptation to the realities of deep space combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. Now... Let's get the uh, selective defoliant so we can start getting away more tile blockers. Construction complete. This guy is done. Let's build the mining station first. And I think we should consider building don't need three of them. Star system charted. Star system charted over here. Let's go down there. Another rail gate. Technology secured. Uh, rail guns. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah, we want star holds. Definitely want star holds. Construction complete. Good, good. Build a research station. I guess we should colonize this planet. Going to add to our Special empire sprawl, complete. but it's fine. Special project completed. We have tried everything in order to find out how the ceramic pot ended up in a stellar orbit. Maybe we are all crazy. Maybe it doesn't even exist. Guess what? We tried calculating around those facts as well. We are done. There is nothing more we can do here. The only plus side is that we had tons of time to spend on philosophical and economical questions, and we could not stomach to keep investigating that damned thing. 150 influence. Embrace the futility of life's questions. Why? 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 Construction complete. Can't blame them. Why did I send the other science ship? Okay, so up there, you can go there then. You're done, then you can build the mining station. How are we in terms of strength? Well, we are... Except for those, we are... Quite doing quite well, I would say. Fleet power is equivalent, but uh, except for the Mercantile Union, which is pathetic, but they're in a war. Please go there. And build a shipyard here, please. 
now we have enough influence to reform our ethics, reform government, so we can cannot get rid of Devouring Swarm, because that is our uh, core civic. One mind gives us plus 15 unity, so I want that, so we can either do Ascetic, which is minus 15% pop amenities usage. We can do Divided Attention, which gives us plus 20 to administrative capacity. Which is not at all a bad one. Natural Neural Network, plus one research, al research alternatives. Nah, we have enough research alternatives now. Pooled Knowledge, plus one to leader level cap and leader pool size. That is a good one. Strength of Legions, not really necessary at this point. We don't need 15% naval capacity yet either. And Edict cost minus 20%. Ah, that one is interesting. Very interesting. What edicts do we have? Minus 20% to these, for instance, is um, not at all bad. Not at all bad. It's particularly this one can be... Uh, Quite interesting. But I think that's for later on, so I think we will go with... What is our current leader? Five out of nine. What about our uh, researchers? Six out of ten. I don't think they can go above level 10, so our scientists can become max level. Mm. Let's get the divided attention reform. That reduces the um, penalties there. Construction complete. Construction complete. Good, then I want you down there as well. Build a building on our docked 3A. I think we want synaptic nodes. But with that, I also think that this is a good spot to uh, end the episode at. Just wanted to do that. So that is exactly what we will be doing. Now, I'm not making any specific plans for the next episode, but one thing that I do want is to try to grab that system, which means sending in this fleet and then surveying and possibly getting a star base there before the uh, Fafossans do. But we'll see how it goes. I also want to grab these three systems. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.